Hi guys, Cranky Kaz here. And the Shapester. And we're back with Life is Strange 2, episode 1. I think this is going to be the final part. It doesn't feel like we've got very much left to go, mm. but who knows. Uh, so we had a bit of a run-in with the shop owners, because... We stole some stuff, but you think they would have? Um, you think they knew who we were anyway? Yeah, I think they'd seen us in the news, and he mentioned that when he saw um, us. So I think he'd have captured us anyway. Hooking up with Brody. So we hooked up with Brody. He got us a little bit further away. We're at a motel, I think. Yeah. We've seen Arcadia Bay, which was cool. Um, and now we're on the beach. So can I s He's so smart. stand up? Don't you think? No, you're looking no. at things at the moment. Hey, don't run too far. Too bad sandcastles never last. Hey, don't run too far. Yeah, I feel like we're, we've been travelling about five hours mm. since the gas hey, station. So. Let's play fetch with the pub. How really? do you know that? Yes. Uh, just based on <laughs> Let me do three hours later, first. they stopped at Arcadia Ooh. Bay, and then two well, hours later, okay. they're here. Okay, okay puppy. Or something like that. Go wide. We're gonna love it. Um. Come on, mushroom. Get it. Go, mushroom. Some some seagulls flying. Yeah. I wonder if he'll find anything for us. So he doesn't come back. <laughs> uh, he sure. lobbed us off a cliff. Where is she? Um. Oh, oh there she is. You were going to worry something had happened to her then, Good didn't doggy. you? <laughs> I think we need a frisbee. Now she wants me to throw the stick. Oh, give us okay. Daniel then. Sure. You carry on. <laughs> Watch how fast she'll get the stick. You go for it. Just don't throw it too far. I won't. I swear. I mean, I promise. Come on, mushroom. Come on. Look, it's a stick. Fetch. <laughs> no. Hey, Brody. Come on, mushroom. Get that stick. Looks like these two are getting along. It's good to see him like that. Well, I got you that room. Seriously? I... It's only a room. No big deal. Look, I had tough times when I started out. And some strangers saved my life. Thank you. Now's That's my turn cool. to help someone. It's right Thanks, there, Mom. room 10. On the second floor. Listen, I don't want to freak you out, okay? But... You have to be twice as careful now. I know it's easier said than done, but you should get rid of that phone. Okay. You can always get a burner later. Trust me. And Sean, talk to Daniel. He deserves Brody, to... You're not leaving, are you? Yes, I am, but... Not until Santa Brody gives you a goodbye gift. Ta-da! I, I mean, ho, ho, ho. And don't you dare argue about What's it. What's he giving us? Camping I'll leave stuff. it right here if you do. I don't know. Okay. A bag full you of win. supplies by the looks Thanks, of it. Thanks, Brody. Oh, what a dude. Legend. He's going to be, he's going to feature again, isn't he? Feels good. Hope so. I hope he features again. Not just because he's sorting us yeah. out. Looks like it's yours now. As always... <laughs> Hold on. I didn't forget you. I've had it since my first road trip. And it's always kept me safe. Now it's yours. Cool. Cool, what is it? Bandana? Um, do you think it's okay if she wears it? Like, our official dart dog? Oh, like a neckerchief? <laughs> sure. It's your bandana now. Bandana. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Time for me to hit the road again. Hey, don't look so sad. You can contact me on my blog, a oh, tribe okay. called West. So, you better keep me posted when you can. Good man. Okay? We will. Thanks again, Brody. <laughs> ah, bro hug. <laughs> <laughs> Wish you could stay with us. Me too, kid. <sighs> Sorry, I'll probably think of a better goodbye when I'm on the road, but until then, take care, my dudes. So, 
We're being Me hunted too. now, basically. The police know where we last were five hours ago. Yep. Wow, 272 miles from Seattle. Okay. Yep. Time to hit the sack. We've walked a long way. Oh, although we've, well, driven, driven, for driven, like, hours, so. a, we've driven a long way. Oh, I suppose five hours would be like Don't worry, 50 Mr. miles, maybe. I got you. Times five. Mm-hmm. There us. Oh. Oh, he's, he's giving you thirty dollars as, well. as well. Oh, good man. Bless him. Okay, so what have we got here? Brody's souvenir. Oh. Oh. Ah. Oh, AFK. Like it. <laughs> um. Raccoon sweater. Oh, so we nicked that, but um, yeah, don't feel guilty whatsoever. Brody's letter. Okay, oh. let's read that. I'm a better writer than I am a speaker. That's why I'm writing this letter while you and Daniel are asleep in the car. Sorry, I can't take you further. There's a good reason to it. As dysfunctional as it can be, family is family. When we met, I was on my way to Utah where my mum is currently losing her battle against cancer and I have to be there. You'll find a few dollars in the backpack. That's all the cash I have left, but you need it more than me. Oh, he's such a good guy. Yeah. I'm sorry I didn't trust you, Brody. Your goal is good, you need to follow your instinct, but please be careful and protect your brother. You'll see when you tell him the truth about Seattle that sharing the same pain will make you stronger together eventually. When you get to Mexico, keep a low profile until you meet people you can truly rely on. Yeah. Um, I wish I could have met you two under better circumstances, but I'm glad I could help you the best way I could. Take care, Brody. P.S. Hit me up when you're safe. And he's written A Tribe Called West as well, so at least we uh, have it in writing, in case we don't remember. Okay. So it sounds like we may end up getting to Mexico, and... Well, maybe. Yeah. And there's uh, the camping equipment that we stole as well. Might come in handy. Oh, right. hang on. So our phone's dead, and they've suggested we could be getting trapped, even though it's dead. Yep. So we probably need to get rid of that. Yeah. Well, he said he's going to, so... Feeling safe for the first time since Seattle, thanks to Brody. Um, we picked an odd mushroom on our way out. <laughs> cool. Oh. Right. So, it's very dark everywhere. It Maybe is. we just need to get. Ooh, oh, this everything's turning off. Seemed Good. creepy. Looks like the manager's asleep for the night. I shouldn't have any trouble from them. Good. Then you want to find room 10? Yeah. So you're going to the cars. Do you think it will have Netflix or a jacuzzi? Dude, this is some hotel, not an Airbnb. If we're lucky, it'll have cable and a hot shower. Okay, so we're room 10? Mm-hmm. Second floor, right? I'm guessing so, yeah. Or first floor if you're uh, talking UK talk. Yeah. Uh, which was... 11 uh, to 10 there. There it is. Yeah. This reminds me of like heavy rain in Detroit. And yes, staying in the hotel. Good uh, stuff motels. does not happen in these motel rooms. Something's going to happen, of course, but... Ooh. I'm worried Check about the police out. finding us. It even has a bathtub. <laughs> Good. I'm going to throw you in, cave boy. We can watch TV too. And there's a balcony. Whoa, this is nice and warm. Uh, are you going to charge the phone or are you Don't going to get rid of the phone? Don't charge the phone. Give me the option to do something <gasps> sensible, please. This bed is soft. What about this one? Uh, not bad, but too far from the TV. Oh, I think Can I've I seen it in the, the trailer, in the you know. TV? I think he tries to ring huh? someone. Wanna really? Play it over rock, I think paper, he rings scissors? someone. Oh, there's no way you can beat me, bud. Ready? Maybe I'm Lila. So ready to beat you. Mm. Aw, shoot. I told you, man. Can we play another round? Come on. Am I gonna win whatever? Sure, I mean, you're gonna lose again, but <laughs> suit yourself. Not this time. That was what I was thinking to go with as well. Yeah, because he's going to use paper, because I used paper last time. Yeah. You lost, man. 
What's not fair? I want it that bed. And have the bed. He can have the bed anyway oh, if he wants it. Have it anyway. Uh, it's fine. Take it. For real? I don't really care. Awesome. No. They're the same, you know. Yeah, but I like this one better. Fine. Whatever. All right. I'm gonna run a bath. We totally reek. Especially you, pig pen. I wouldn't be so sure, cave boy. I'll call you when it's ready. Uh, I'll be right here. Of course you will. Oh, he's charged the phone. Oh, cool. Yep. Hot dog oh, man look, it's hot dog man. <laughs> hey, can you turn that down, please? Aww. Okay, okay. Card? Yeah. Don't think we'll be coming back this way. Oh, no. Handwritten note. Thanks for everything. Oh, that's the, uh, yeah. the Brody note, so that's fine. LBH he's charging his uh, phone, yep. Oh, shit, that was wild. But we have a tent now. Great. Awesome. You Why are you charging your phone? That's really stupid. Yeah. Don't know. I wish we still had Brody around. It makes the game exciting or the story exciting, right? Makes it tense. I don't like it. Right, so I've got to go run a bath for Daniel. I can't seem to check my phone out. Nope. Anything in the closet? Might have been something left. The tie. Tie. Beware the <laughs> I can see why they left that tie. Yeah, it's pretty horrendous. Um. I tried to iron my shirts once. Burned a hole through them. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. Like I'm gonna sweep the carpet. It's a carpet. Can awesome. we take some towels? You should sit down and watch it with me. A cheap oh. souvenir for a cheap trip. Okay. Fair enough. Here. Okay. I was sort of hoping we could get something useful out of that, but can we close the curtains? Are you gonna outside? go outside? Yeah, maybe. The next objective is to run a bath, isn't it? Uh -huh. Ashtray. Ashtray. Yes, yeah, like one of those um, middle of nowhere places, isn't it? Hopefully this isn't gonna. No. Okay. It's nice out here. Wish I cared. Puerto Lobos, Mexico. Can I get us this far? And safe? We're gonna try. We are. How can we get there without money? We'll find a way. And Daniel still doesn't know what really happened. How the fuck am I gonna tell him? Me and Daniel just have to take it one step at a time. I love how it seems like you're the only ones in. I have it out where everyone's asleep. Seems late. Hmm. I think that's the end of your little. Yeah. Monologue to yourself. Yeah, I was just um, leaving it just in case. Papers. I could use a serious bond rip right now. Mm hmm. Oh, he's brushing me. Oh, so we can watch TV together. An old toy. and question him about it. What's that? Uh, it was in Brody's car. He gave it to you. Uh, well, uh, yeah. You stole it from him? Oh, kid. It looked cool and... You stole before, so I thought... Uh, uh, it's bad, we shouldn't have done no, it. No, man. Stealing is bad. We only do it if... We really need it. Okay? Plus... Brody was super nice He doesn't us. know why we really need it. Then... Why did we do why it? Why did you do it? Hey, we had to. It, it was different. Why? I don't want you stealing around. 
Understand? Yeah. Okay. Uh. Oh well. So what should teaching they do? it is taught him something anyway, hasn't it? Yeah. So, what's up? The buns want to catch hot dog man and turn him into sausage meat. Oh yeah. The giant meatball attacks in the next episode, right? Yes. And they get to meet the city mayo. <laughs> yeah. City mayo. It's been ages. Why don't you watch Hot Dog Man with me anymore? I'm too old, dude. And I've seen it so many times. <laughs> okay, Grandpa Sean. <laughs> Feels so good to sit down and watch What's the TV? deal with the Hot Dog Man thing? Because that's in Life is Strange, isn't it? True. As well. There's little appearances every now and then. It's just, I'm guessing it's is just a series. Is it an actual series. American series? Yeah. Or is it just made up in the Life is Strange world? Answers in the comments, please. Yeah, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued. Cool. So this is another one of those things. He's just going to okay. sit there for ages. Oh, oh something. something came up there. We're missing the best part. Damn it. I know, but i got to take care of the bat. Don't forget you're up soon. I Too know. quick, I should have waited. Let's see if we can go back and go next to him then. See, you can watch TV together. Okay. Yeah, let's just be patient and see. No. <laughs> 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 Was this where it got up to last time? Something like that, yeah. Oh, you get a tickle in. Yeah. <laughs> Watch out for Grandpa Sean! <laughs> Stop! Sean! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Come on! Next time, you'll respect the old man. <laughs> Is that it? Looks like it, because this is going through the same things again. See if it gives you the we'll option. We'll see if we get it again. again. And if you do, then say, like, okay, I'll, I'll leave it that time. We'll leave it a second time. Oh no, it's gone. Cool. Are we going to get anything serious? Tell him the truth! Oh. Okay. I think he's just cycling through okay. scenes now. Right. I'm done here. You're missing the best part. I know, but I gotta take care of the bat. Don't forget you're up soon. I know. Okay. Pick up the fresh towels. Let's put this in the bathroom for <laughs> Prince Daniel. Hmm. Whoa. <laughs> Slightly too close. She's so sweet. Damn. Right, Sean? I could paint this shit. <laughs> yeah, hotel rooms always do have slightly rubbish art, don't they? Hmm. I miss GPS right. already. But at least we're progressing south. So we're at the Three Seals Motel south of yeah. Arcadia Bay. Mm -hmm. Is Newport going to be our next one? Or do you think we're going to end up over with these wigwams and <sighs> bikes who knows well like? it'll probably be one of those things where we feel like we know where we're going and then something will happen I guess a bit we're going, like in we're the going gas south, station aren't we i suppose yeah. it just depends whether we stay oh we could do um vegetable picking or something by the looks of it hmm turn on the lights no yeah. we're gonna go in in darkness okay there we go right towel daniel you have towels in the bathroom. Don't forget to use yeah, them. Yeah. Your Highness. We're gonna do a bubble bath. Dude, you really look like shit. I'm gonna sort myself out first, just because the objective is to sort out Daniel. Yep. Don't know whether that makes any difference, but. Possibly not, but time to be a kid again. Hmm. Uh, okay. Fill her up. Uh, 
Up the soap. Mm -hmm. I noticed Daniel will love this. Either the small wolf is lighting up or the big one. Mm. So it's registering whether it's in favour of Daniel or Yeah, well, it's doing being something a grown up it, sort of Yeah. It's like you're sort of doing good things for Daniel when that pops up, I think. Rather of the month. Yeah. Yeah, right. My hair feels like it's coated in dirt. A shower after Daniel will be bliss. Yeah, let him do his thing first. Um, Man, this hot water is going to feel so good. Oh. Why do I get the feeling he's not going to get to experience it? Mm, I don't know. Some things do not change. Right, are we good? Are we gonna go and yep, send him to the bath? Yeah. You ready? Come on, kid. Aw, the episode's almost finished. Nice try. Bath Water's time. hot. Come on. Yeah, okay, I'm going. Hey, bring in the dog with you. <laughs> the dog coming with you everywhere. Oh my god. Whoa. So many bubbles. Try and keep them in the bathtub. I will. Promise. Thanks. And no. The dog is not taking the bath with you. Okay, okay. Don't worry. So you're taking him in there with you anyway. I should throw my phone away while Dana was washing. He'd freak out if he saw me. Why would you charge it then? Don't know. Maybe just to make it look like everything's normal. Hmm. Time to say goodbye to modern life. I don't get why you'd charge it. I bet we're going to get a call. Shit. Oh, shit. Lila's freaking out. Maybe I should leave her out of this. Oh, what do you do? Into trouble too. Mm. Oh. The trailer has you calling her. Oh, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because I don't want to get her involved. But then and as she's soon as we call, they're going to track us. Yeah, I know. I know. It's, it's It feels like that's the right thing to do, but at the same time, she's like thinking, what the hell's going on with you? As uh, soon as we make a call, we've seen the... I don't know if you're in the UK, but if you're in the UK, there's a program called Hunted mm -hmm. where they get you to basically go on the run. And the first rule, and I always, when I'm watching it and people call family and friends, I'm like shouting at the TV like, no, do you it, idiots, yeah. don't do so it. So in this, in this scenario, we should probably be doing the same thing. Don't call her. But I can understand completely wanting to, wanting to do it. Yep. You know, if it if it were me, mm. I'm not you know I'm not going to influence a decision because it's not if, going to happen if we, here. If we call her, we need to be prepared to go on the run. But I'm just worried that he won't think to do it. Yeah. Well, don't call her then. Um, what if it were me? In like, if it was me sort of doing this sort of thing, I'd be like, right, I've got to get rid of the phone, but keep the numbers and sort of do it from a try and do it from a payphone or something like that. If we call her, we're getting her involved. And although she could, your she could well. then be a an advocate for us for our side of the story. Whereas if we don't call her, she might think we've done something wrong. Hmm. Oh, that's a tricky one, isn't it? Because then you know, at the moment we're on the run, and people think, "Oh, this happened, therefore mm. you're bad." That's the only reason I'd consider calling her. And, well, and obviously to say, look, we're okay. Is she important enough? Can she help us? Is she important enough to make that call and then suffer consequences for doing that? Oh, that's a tricky one. I mean, she's she seems like one of your best friends, so would do things for you if you could. Or if the she police could. keep asking questions. I don't know what to tell them. I'm really worried she wouldn't know what to say and she'd end up screwing up and... I'm going to say don't call her. Alright, do it.
interestingly, that's counted as the sort of mature decision. Well, I don't know. It's well. Well, the grown up. The, the bigger wolf was yeah. the. Was the thing, wasn't it? Okay. Wait. Okay. Okay. And action. Thank you. Get your butt in here right now. What? What did I do? You forgot to open this present. <laughs> what is this? Socks? Underwear? I'm guessing this is a video. video. It's the last yeah. time seeing his dad. Pretty cool, huh? That's what I got when I was a kid. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. Dude, check out your face. Wait, what? Look, there's another one here. What is it? Daniel, let me help. Looks bigger than underwear. Oh, what? No way. Can't believe it. The new Playbots? Thank you, Santa. Hey, don't look at me. You were a good boy this year. <laughs> yeah, lucky boy. Daniel, this is for the whole family too, right? So you gotta share with me. I wanna play that game uh, where you steal cars <laughs> and Grand Theft Auto. <laughs> Dad, you totally suck at games. Oh yeah, track star. I was the dodgeball champ of my high school. So duck. Ow! No fair. <laughs> you guys, don't crush the playbots. Hey, let's set it up. Dad, come on. Ow! Hey. How long does this go on for? I don't know. And I, Merry Christmas, kids. I don't know whether I'm running out of time to throw it, but I sort of feel like I should watch it all. I think that's it. Yeah. That's my. Uh, that's it. That's done. Do it. Oh. That was me. I'd probably end up throwing it and like not getting it into the sea. I don't think you could get it into the sea from there, anyway. I was gonna say, isn't it just gonna wash up? <sighs> okay. Don't think about it. Just keep moving. Tell Daniel the truth. Oh, we're gonna tell him now. Are we? Are you kidding me? Remember that song? Come on, dance! It's going to be a bad time, isn't it? It is. Talk directly. I don't know. He needs to tell him. Man, I I can't dance right now. You can't My legs are thrashed. Me. Sorry. You're no fun. Daniel, uh, come here. We need to talk. Can we get a drink first? I'm thirsty. Right now? You said I could have a coat or something. Okay, I'll get you a soda. But when I come back, we're going to talk. I feel like we're not. So yeah, something's going Hi. to interrupt this, What's isn't it? What's the big deal? Mm. Yeah, no, we're going to end up getting... Um... Something's going to happen, isn't it? Yeah. Go get Daniel a soda, all right? Mm. See, I told you, staying in these motels never ends up. Is that a vending machine? Yes, yeah. it is. Buy two? So, $2. Oh, we've got more money now. We have more money, and we said we were going to get him one, so whatever. You spent bloody $4 on that, three or $3 or $4 on that grabby game, so. Yeah, I could have bought soda at the other shop. Uh. What? Daniel. Oh my god, it's oh the kid again. Oh god. The fuck is going oh, on? Fuck. Oh my god. Daniel! The kid is. Daniel, calm down! You lied! About what? Dad. Our dad is dead! We tried to tell you! Oh Why? shit. Calm down. Can we have turned the TV Daniel. off? Let's just talk. We please. did turn that you TV knew off. Dad was dead. You knew it. Shit. Why? Why did you lie to me? We didn't. 
I wanted to protect I you. I just wanted to protect you until I could. Protect you for what? You? Oh. I hate you! Oh, great. No, my brother! Don't say that. Don't say that. I know I messed up everything. We're gonna get through this. Daniel, please. What is going on anyway? Shh. It's okay. Whoa. I want that. Whoa. <laughs> Me too. Um, you told me we were gonna see you, Dad. I'm sorry. I just. Just don't lie to me ever again. Ever. I promise I won't lie to you again. I promise. I'm serious, Sean. I know. Me too, Danny. What are we gonna do without him? Shh. It's gonna be okay. It's gonna be okay. Is that the end? So if we'd... If we joined in with him dancing, I wonder if that episode wouldn't have, like, that incident wouldn't have happened. And something, it would have happened Mom. later on, but maybe worse if we'd... Am I... a monster? Nothing is wrong with you. You're... different. <sighs> okay. I'm on a bus now. What are we gonna do now? Go south. I was thinking... Maybe we could go to Puerto Lobos. Where Dad grew up, you know? Yeah, I guess. It'll be fine, Daniel. There's nothing we can't do. As long as we're together. Can you tell me a story, like he did? I'm not as good as him. He used to tell me bedtime stories too. Once upon a time, in a wild, wild world, Two wolf brothers living in their home there with their papa wolf. They all lived happily together. But, but one day, hunters took their dad away. Forever. So now the brothers were alone. And they had to find a new home. They started a journey, a great thing. <sighs> this is just the first episode, I'm already like feeling the feels with mm. it. <laughs> Episodes is this five again? I think it's five. And they've released. At the point we're playing this, I think they've just released. It's either episode three or four. I think it's, I think like it's three. Three. Yeah. Yes, because then episode four is coming in August. And episode five, I think, is December. That's right. Right. Well, I must admit, there were like a couple of things. I was sort of wondering for this episode, like from what we've done up to now, 
Um, one of them is like, okay, how soon is Danny going to find out the truth? And yeah. I'm sort of glad that it's been in this episode. And that we've done it, yeah. It's happened, even though it's, he's found out through another way that we didn't want to be the case, but sucks a lot in terms of timing. Well, do you think if we joined him with the dancing, we probably would have gone and got him a soda again anyway, and then maybe the same thing would have happened? Maybe I'm I sort think of if, uh, yeah. thinking too much into it. I think oh it yeah, because otherwise, how would this cutscene have happened, where they talked about well, they just talk the about dad? Different things. Yeah, so probably that um, would have happened anyway. But also, like another big thing about it is that we've seen that whole thing with Daniel. It's like he, when he gets mad, this weird shit happens. Mm. So that was obviously the thing that happened at the point at where the uh, their dad was shot. With Brett. Yeah. Um, and then happened again when that guy in the shop tried to catch him um, but on a much smaller scale it looked yeah. like but that was proper like whoa and yeah. that's the first time it's sort of like been properly addressed like it's the kid and it's so, when he gets angry or upset or something like yeah, that yeah so in this episode one it looks like we, you know what was going to happen was going to happen mm. and we were going to be able to calm him down what I'm worried about is if we don't keep tabs on his behaviour so clearly stuff that we're doing is going to affect Daniel's behaviour. He's learning from what we're doing. Yeah. If we steal, he steals. Mm. Um, oh, whatever it is we do. So it could be that towards the end, there's a big moment where all that culminates mm. and we can't stop him doing something really destructive. If we did a lot if of we've done a lot bad, of bad stuff, stuff, yeah. So I think we need to be a good papa bear mm-hmm. and look after him. Yeah, it's a tricky one, isn't it? Because, like, you know, with hindsight, now I think, oh, yeah, don't steal the camping gear and don't steal that bread. Uh, that's a difficult one because I still stand by doing what you need to in a survival situation. And we were on the run. We had, like, $10. This is before we knew Brody was going to help us. Mm-hmm. What would we have done that night? Exactly. We would have frozen to death if we hadn't. Well, I mean, we, we managed the first. Raining. We managed the first night, but it was raining the second night. We needed somewhere safe to stay. Thank God for Brody. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I think we did the right things. But at the same time, stealing those things meant that. Well, actually, Daniel... I only stole the bread, didn't I? So you stole I did, the bread. Well, you stole the camping gear after. I, afterwards, but I drew the line at stealing it beforehand. But actually given what happened maybe I should have just stole a lot I don't know yeah but then Daniel was thinking that was okay hence he stole yeah. inadvertently stole that toy from Brody's car mm. I mean it was set him right afterwards thankfully but you know are there going to be more instances of that quite possibly mm. right what do we think shall I skip this yeah go for it ah or just leave. speed up that's handy okay that's good <laughs> That's really trippy though. Um, leave. Leave. Okay. <laughs> so we kept the chocolate crisp for ourselves, like 44 other selfish. 44% 44 of people. 44% of selfish people. You lied to Esteban. Oh, there's like, there's like six pages of Oh, there. wow. So that we, was at the point. That of... was with, about the party. We said, oh, yep. yeah, we're not going to be doing, we're, we're just buying sweets and stuff. Mm hmm. You hugged him. 90% yeah. of people did. Didn't take money. Oh, we questioned Daniel. Well, we did. Rather than just instantly confronting Brett, yeah. we were asking, okay, what's going on? In the end, Brett continued to be a douchebag, and that meant that yeah. he got, got, basically. I would do that as a parent, though. I would always sort of yeah, check what's happened what here? my child has actually done, like what's actually happened here, rather than... Mm-hmm. But I guess that came across in a sort of, like... What did you do, Daniel? Which I wasn't really intending it to yeah, be like right, that. I was meaning it to be like... What happened here? What actually happened here? Can you... That's the thing I find difficult about Life is Strange because it comes up with the options, but then it doesn't always deliver it. Gonna... Yeah, it doesn't deliver it necessarily in the same... Well, the way you expect it to. We've stolen a lot, man. Like, we're bad people. We, we didn't, didn't beg, beg for food. We're proud. <laughs> we stole from the gas station. Um... Oh, we could have used Daniel. You hit Hank and stole the camping gear. 62% of people did yeah, that. Yeah, because he deserved it. You didn't call Lila back. We're in a minority oh, okay. for that, amazingly. 
okay. good because I feel like that. And he promised it. Yeah, vast majority of people promise you won't lie to him again. I mean, yeah, fine. There's going to be another situation where we yeah. need to tell a white lie, and we'll feel like we should tell him. Yeah. Uh, Daniel learned about trailblazing. Okay. Daniel didn't fall in the woods. Didn't even realise he there was a possibility. Fetch wood for the fire. Uh, lost the wood race. Yeah. Oh, we were in the minority we, there. We were in a minority for actually being quicker than Daniel. He learned how to skip stones. Because we persevered. He didn't get mad. He had an okay night. He got sick from the berries, so I benefit as bad ones. Daniel was afraid of his stories and had nightmares. Blimey. Oh, wow, okay. Daniel well, didn't he... have to beg. Mm. He didn't distract Doris because he didn't know that was an option. He didn't eat enough. Oh, oh. dear. Whoops. Oh dear. He got a power bear toy. Only 20% of people did that. Yeah, because they probably focused on him getting enough food. We got a stupid plastic toy. <laughs> yeah, true. Daniel stole, stole something, something from Brody. Brody. But then the majority of people, you know, seem to fall into that category because mm. they'd stolen the camping gear or other stuff from the shop. All right. Come on, man. Focus. Snowing. Oh no. Okay. Trust me. You can do it. Do what? Oh, we're gonna look up his powers. Ooh. That looks intriguing. Yep. What was the most memorable moment from your first few days on the road? Did you steal to we survive did. or play it safe? Yes, we stole. What did Daniel learn? He learned how to skip stones. Um, yeah. Okay, well that's the end of episode one. Hope you've enjoyed it. Uh, we'll be continuing with episode two. We're actually going on holiday for a week. Uh, but when we're back, we'll start episode two. But um, till then, see you next time. See ya.